What's up guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video, it's a boy El Zanito and I want to show you how to do a quick um, scrolling effect on After Effects. So let's say you see all those phones like an iPhone or anything and the what's it called like the web page or something will just be scrolling up like that. So we're going to do um, that effect quickly. So let's go first to PNG Wing as usual. And I'm going to download an iPhone um, image, something like this. Yeah, something like this works. All right. Or well, let's use one that someone hands is holding. So yeah, let's use this one. Ah, uh, which one should we use? Now I'm even confused. Let's use this one. All right. So let's just quickly save this. Let's download this. I mean, uh, we have the dollar sign the question mark O and B all right so our file is currently downloaded so this is it so quickly let's open after effects let's just jump straight into it after effect let's go let's go let's go So now we're in After Effects. The first thing I want to do is just create a new project. Um, when you create a new project, you can come here, right click, and create a new composition. And since we want something that is for IG, so we're just going to use 1920, 19, 1920 by 1920. And we'll just call it test. Right? All right, quickly, we are going to bring in. Uh, for our image that was downloaded and we're going to just increase the size like this so that the hand covers the stuff so let's create a new solid so that we can have a proper background and not just black I mean we can always have it as black but let's just use a different background so for this background I'm going to use all right so I'm going to press ok and I'm going to bring it down here so you can see that this is as it is now, if you want to change the color, you can just press Ctrl space bar and press fill, type in fill, and you, you can change the color from here. You can give it any color you want. So, I'm going to, yeah, this is better. So, after um, creating your background and your bringing in your phone, right, the next thing is to bring in your image, right? Now, after bringing in your image, just adjust it, holding down Shift and Alt. And just expand it so it can be increased proportionally so I'm going to just drag it down you can still increase it a little bit yeah something like this works so I'm going to just lock this to like this so it's where we just have this image left so we can just call this image um, let's rename it so right click and rename to web page now this same stuff I'm doing is what you can also do for your laptop, for your desktop, whatever, whatever thing has a screen, you can do it for it. So having done that, this is our web page. The next thing you want to then do is just create, um, convert your web page to, now this is a simpler way to go about it, but convert your web page, just pre-compose your web page. So come here, right click and click on pre-compose and yeah, just call it web page, right? So let's say we have our, our image pre-composed as, as you can see here. The next thing is select your image. This is your rectangle tool or your, you can just pre, um, place, um, press the, you can press the shortcut Q. So select your frame. Now we'll just drag across the phone frame. And now we have our frame, right? So now we have our frame, we can then bring in the web page behind um, this character, right? So what we want to then do is enter into this um, frame, into this web page, select your image, press P, press, um, add a keyframe on your, um, on the zero second, add a keyframe. Now scroll down to like probably 10 seconds, add another keyframe. Now go back to the first keyframe, you can see that it is perfect. The second keyframe, just move this upward, just move, um, increase, like reduce this um, dimension like this, reduce it like this, exactly. Now that we have added like 
an animation to it you can then select all right click and go to keyframe assistant and choose easy ease now you can close this and come back to um, you already see the animation so when you press play you can see the animation going on so this is one very simple way of adding animation to um, your object now same thing you can do that with um, same thing you can do with um, what's it called with not just the phone but your laptop screen your desktop screen any form of screen that can allow you to place anything behind it you can always do this for it so just bring the image change it pre-compose it add your max go into the pre-compose um, image then add your animation there and you're good to go I mean this is like a simple way to just do a quick um, scrolling um, animation for your image or your objects and whatnot so yeah this works um, again this is one of many ways to do something like this there are, there are several ways to go about um, creating something like this but yeah this is one of many ways so if this works for you and if this is something that you know you definitely want to try out you know give me a comment subscribe and you know come uh, and share as well another thing is as you can see this background right you can also animate the background and how do you animate the background so at the moment the color is this light green color right you can select you can add a keyframe right and go to the 10th second and add another keyframe and, and change the color i mean and change the color to like red something like this a lighter form of red right now if i go back you can see so if i press play it changes color down to as you can see very very simple so it's all about just adding keyframes and that's basically what this basic um after effects stuff is adding keyframe understanding how to add keyframe and what to do um stuff like that <clears throat> so yeah if this resonates with you um share comment give me a like and also subscribe i will see you next time cheers